Hello, good, af good afternoon, good evening. Uh, the leak good evening, is sir. Nicely reduced. So Taking out the tube. Yeah, this is a 13 year old and, uh, girl will, uh, with tetralogy pulmonary atresia who had undergone a condy repair and in 2005. Later, we'll go back to the room. Subsequently, she was diagnosed to have yeah. progressive condy regurgitation with RV okay. dilatation okay. and RV dysfunction. And on echocard initial uh, during the initial surgery, an LPA plasty was also done. So subsequent echocardiograms failed to demonstrate an LPA. So we had done a cath for her in 2013, which showed uh, significant uh, conduit regurgitation, no gradient across the conduit, and LPA was not visualized. We confirmed the absence of LPA with a CT, CT pulmonary angiogram also. And during last February. Uh, she underwent a condi revision for the progressive severe PR with RV dilatation. So she underwent a condi replacement with an RV to PA 17 millimeter homograft. And subsequently, initially, her echocardiograms had shown a stretched PFO, which was left behind by the surgeon during the initial surgery. Now, what we found is that it has progressively enlarged to an ASD, which is measuring around 20 millimeter. So. Can you show the echo, first picture? Echo. So right now, she is having an ASD. No, live echo. Echo from the live. Echo. From the echo live. So this is the, yeah. So that is the ASD which is measuring around 20 millimeter, shunting left to right. So we are planning to close this ASD with a 24 millimeter amplatzer septal occluder. Her RV pressure was 40, RPA pressure was 22 systolic, RA mean pressure was 7. So we have taken a 24 ASD device. Just show the. Magnetic apical portion. Life. Open Life. off. Echo. No. Magnetic. She have to go. And uh, collimate, collimate the pictures. Collimate. What basis are you choosing a 24 Col device? You have 19 there on your 2D uh, go to measurement. Sir, so the maximum uh, we got to was. Upsize by five millimeters. The maximum was 21 millimeter we measured. So we decided to take a 24. It's in the pulmonary vein. Yeah. Okay. Just Henry, what are you, you going to do? Can we um, have a look at all the rims, please? What, show, the the show, show, the, show the picture. Too late for, too late for Henry. This isn't Texas, you know. No, no. It's come on the, in the LA, on LA disc. Henry, are you comfortable with that? 24 device, 21 holes? I think that sounds... Uh, Sounds reasonable. We did, we'd like to look at the rims, but I'm assuming that uh, the, the, and rim and the rims are in the good. Next. The rims were adequate. Short axis. Vintage move. Sorry. Inward. Inward. No, it's coming. No, it's coming this time. It may work. It may work. You you try releasing in the same. In English, can you move out of this fluorous screen? Can I see? Make it brighter. Can you Vengadish? open up the field? No. And then come in. Okay. Ah. I am not seeing. Yeah, go ahead and release. Yeah, that's fine. Ask you to be careful with your transthoracic. Uh, Neil, I am uh, Neil. I am doing my uh, echo, but I have uh, ensured that collimate. Uh, I am ensuring that the probe is not coming in the way. Uh, see the device position is looking. Okay. I I knew that you are sitting there, and so <laughs> I I will not uh, expose my hand under the fluoroscopy. Uh, Invert it. I am. I am. 
Don't fluoro. Just by just by the looks the of it, it looks a little bit oversized, doesn't it? Push the I mean, it doesn't yeah, come that flat as we would like to have it. Did you get that comment, uh, Shiva? I heard it. I heard it. Basically, Dr. Neil, I think Srija would have told, this is a, this is a significantly stretched PFO. There was some amount of malalignment between the superior, invert it. Some amount of malalignment between the superior uh, edge and the inferior edge. And so a, a, a decision was taken to oversize by 3 millimeter from the largest dimension that we got. For, uh, eye scan? Eye scan. Eye scan. The top, top. Zoom that area. Increase the gain. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Go up. Yeah. Color? Question for you. Color out. Make make the uh, uh, brightness. Increase the increase. gain. Increase the gain. Two D gain. Yeah. Now, zoom. We have a question for you. Yes, Neil. The question for you is, uh, we had such discrepancy from 19 going all the way to 21, a couple others. Did you consider balloon sizing? Uh, uh, we, we don't do balloon sizing at all in our unit uh, for the last 13, 14 years. The only it's a time when we try to balloon size is when there are two or three defects Invert. and we want to put in two or three adjacent uh, devices uh, where we want to see what will be the relationship Zoom. between uh, each uh, device. Zoom that area. Uh, otherwise, uh, in a routine patient with uh, ASD, Zoom that area. we just Zoom go by the echocardiographic edges. largest dimension and then add anywhere between two millimeter to six millimeter depending on the age of the patient and floppiness of the margins. In this particular patient, the largest uh, echo dimension that was recorded was 21. And uh, since there was a subtle malalignment between the inferior edge and the superior edge, uh, Srija took a decision to use a 24. I feel it is looking okay to me. Ajiba, I think we've got a question. Is that Dr. Loba up there? Avram? I'm not able to hear Dr. Loba. Question from the audience? No, me neither. Ah, he's just discovered how to it's, watch the microphone. It's an oval defect. It is not a straight round Remove defect. That soon, no? So it is 14 over 19, and that's why it looks bulky. Yeah. Zoom it. Zoom. Uh, 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 I, I would like to make... Yes. Well, I think because of the malalignment of the septum and the shape that the right atrial disc has like a concave shape, there is a risk of unbuttoning. So I think it's better to take a smooth one. You want a smaller device, do you? Yeah, I think this one, because of the pressure imposed on the right atrial disc, uh, there is a risk that it will, even over the first 24 hours, it may unbutton. Thank you. Another comment? Who's that there? I didn't, I didn't Thomas, understand oh it. Yeah, what Thomas, is the uh, unbuttoning, uh, uh, Neil? Why don't you do a... I think unbuttoning is like the device slips through the defect like a shirt button. But we have another comment from uh, Thomas Tresemann. Why not do a proper wiggle first of all and see how it configures afterwards? Sure. Sometimes it deconfigures nicely and doesn't look so sure, sure. washed anymore. Sure, yeah. Can you do a wiggle? Just one question. One question I had was, did the mitral valve touch the left atrial disc? No, no, it was not touching. I'll show you now. Uh, you pull it and then... Did the mitral valve touch the disc? No, it was not. Or did the disc Six. touch the mitral valve? Six. Okay. Flora, store this. Go back to echo. Uh, there is a lot of distance between the mitral valve and the disc. Resume that. Echo live. Echo big. It's not impairing with any of the structures, Neil. I agree. Maybe 22 would have worked, or rarely even a 20. Yeah, 22 probably would so have worked. But I, I. So you've done a tug, Thomas. Are you happy now to release? 
you could always measure the waist on the you can always measure the waist on the plural to see if it's yeah. really oversized. Go to, go to, go to your level. You got to wiggle. Go to, go to your level. Happy. Come on. Yeah, it still looks a bit squashed on the echo, but I'm not an expert. I do it on the TOE and not on the trans -thoretic. But on the, you can measure the weight here on the, on the uh, plural, and if that is far, far smaller than the uh, original size of the defect, then you may want to downsize it. Yeah. We can't afford a new device here. I agree, it looks a little bit bulky. You might have got away with a smaller device. Yeah. But Henry thinks we should release. Yeah, I think so, uh, no, Neil. I, uh, we I find the left atrial disc too big. Uh, it looks... Oh, oh come on. Oh, Henry, thank you. Release, release it. Who's going to release it? Yeah, Srija is Who ready. Who thinks we should use a smaller device? Who thinks we should use a larger device? Okay. So uh, the opinions seem to be split between Pluto. releasing this device or choosing a smaller device. Sorry, we have already released. And we have our answer. Show the echo. So one other thing is, from an age of patient, would this device be, because it's larger than gel, gel, gel. we could use a smaller one, would there be a higher risk of AFib if we left this device behind? She's would that uh, make your to 15 years, right? process in one way or the other? I would use a particular Oculotech device because it's much more forgiving in this size. In this size. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Aclotic will be a softer device, mm -hmm. but it looks. Uh, yeah, okay. It looks uh, okay here. Twenty. Twenty-four would be fine, and it would, it's much more forgiving. So I think we all agree we might have got away with a smaller device. We all agree that you're close to the mitral valve, but we have all seen similar proximity. Even Dr. Justino. So, see about that. We're going to let you uh, yeah. go now. I am. Um, yeah. Thank you, Neil. Thank uh, you. My ventricle is uncomfortable, isn't it? But thanks to you and your team for two very nice, straightforward yeah. cases. Thank you. And will we be coming back to you or not? Yeah, we'll be coming back for the stenting in pulmonary artery session a few but minutes from now.